Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're continuing our study of David's life. We're in 1 Samuel 25. And let me ask you this question. Have you ever known a successful idiot? You know, uh, someone that really didn't understand how blessed they were and basically lived their life selfishly. I mean, maybe you're thinking of someone right now. Maybe you've been that person at some point. But in 1 Samuel 25, as we continue David's story, uh, David encounters one of these guys. See, David is an outlaw. He and his mighty men are in uh, southern Israel, uh, and they're living out in the wilderness. But in, in that place they are in the wilderness, they're protecting the villages of southern Israel from attack by other uh, enemies. And so they're doing a great service for the king and for the nation and for the people. And one of those people was this guy named Nabal, and he had a lot of money, and he had a lot of sheep. And while his shepherds were out in the field with their sheep, David and his men protected them. They didn't eat any of the sheep. They didn't take the sheep for themselves. They protected them. So a time of celebration came, harvest time came, and David sent word to Nabal by some of his men. He said, hey, we've been protecting your, your assets out in the field, and could we have some of the meat? Could we have some of the clothing? Could we have some grain so we can celebrate uh, at this feast time as well. And, and Nabal basically uh, insulted David, who is David, you know, he's some dog running around there, and, and he rejected the request outright. And so David and his men set out to uh, address the disrespect. And if you read it, they were going to kill him. I mean, they were, David was hot. Uh, and, uh, and so Nabal's wife, this lady named Abigail, heard about what he, how he had responded to David's men, and she went, that was a mistake, I get that. So she interceded, she got a bunch of food together, and, and brought it out to meet David on his way to kill her husband and everybody in the camp. And so she met David, and that's where verse 23 in 1 Samuel 25 picks up. And it says, when Abigail saw David, she hurried and got down from the donkey and fell before David on her face and bowed to the ground. And she fell at his feet and said, on me alone... My Lord, be the guilt. Please let your servant speak in your ears and hear the words of your servant. Let not my Lord regard this worthless fellow Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name and folly is with him. But I, your servant, did not see the young men of my Lord whom you sent. Now then, my Lord, as the Lord lives and as your soul lives, because the Lord has restrained you from blood guilt and from saving with your own hand, now then let your enemies and those who seek to do evil to my Lord be as Nabal. And now let this present be, uh, that your servant has brought to my Lord be given to the young men who follow my Lord. Please forgive the trespass of your servant. For the Lord will certainly make my Lord a sure house because my Lord is fighting the battles of the Lord and evil shall not be found in you as long as you live. Now she goes on, but uh, I'm going to stop right there. David listened. He relented and, and uh, honored Abigail's request. And so uh, he told her... Uh, uh, you know, that he was going to spare them. He took the food and the men went the other way. And he thanked her for keeping him from basically sinning by wiping him out uh, because he was angry. So Abigail went home, told Nabal what she had done, and he had something like a stroke because <laughs> he couldn't move for 10 days and then he died. And then uh, when David heard that Nabal had died, he recognized what a good woman Abigail was. He sent for her and he married her uh, and brought her to be his wife. So what, what's, our, what's our point? What do we gain out of this? Well, here's, here's a simple takeaway that'll help each and one of us. Uh, live your life to bless people. Just, just be a blessing. Bless people when they deserve it. Bless people when they don't deserve it. Just live your life to bless people in Jesus' name and you know what will happen to you? Yeah, you will be blessed because we're going to reap what we sow. So I hope that that blesses you. Have a great day.